After initial stop out of food and drink, our depleted vault residents will become accustomed to anything new we give them. This gives us an entreaty to add chemical supplements to their diet, being a bit of a sir. <sighs> Appetizers. Are you serious? What? No, we're not even looking at that. Mood enhancer. Alright, what are we putting in here? Hallucinogen gives us a small sample of the final product. It is uh, quite exciting. They've made an extremely compound that uh, soluble in water. It creates a short time euphoria, in some cases, mild hallucinogen. Bugger off! Mad people! Just about to give up with the tear. If you're parsed out of the team, his team will operate on an active ingredient supplement Z. It's just caffeine. Play an ordinary caffeine. Yes. <laughs> Yes! We're going with caffeine. I guess I'm open for business. <laughs> Dance is like, yep, go for it. Are you alright, Clem? Do, do you need wee steps to get in there, dude? I should think I was really going to go with anything else. I am BOS. Oh, perfect. You made it in. Happy days. Off you go, Clem. So damn hungry. Maybe I'll get another drink. It's got caffeine, people. Be nice to me. I need caffeine. It's been 220 years since I've had a cup of coffee. You evil, twisted people. This soda's better than you. Try it. You'll see. Go on, big dude, admit it. You love that. If it comes with messing with vault tag, I'm the best. You're in a vault? Oh, she's got a hit, babe. Excuse me. Never thought I'd have an honest to goodness job. She's got a hit, babe. Do you love a bib? Let Cam serve soda for an hour. Want to be the best customer? Depends. How much does it cost? Oh, it's free. Really? Well, I guess then. Not a bad job, manning the soda fountain. Mmm, wow. 
That's good stuff. Make sure to come back. Oh, he hits me. You here to check out? I got a customer right here. Want some more refreshment? Mm, what the heck's in there? I had a nickel cola once. This stuff. I know, right? It's got special chemicals in it. No shit. Well, whatever it is, call me a fan. <laughs> She's gonna hear this. Oh. What the hell happened there? Oh, no way. Sorry, give me one second, people. The game just glitched on me. I got five level ups I have to hand out. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just enjoying messing with the overseer so much at the minute. It's just too much entertainment. Ah, beautiful. No idea what I wanted to open for, like, but you know, it's tough at night. Oh, that was brilliant. I'm loving this job. <laughs> she's gonna hit me, she's gonna hit me. And I'm so happy with it. <laughs> brilliant. Caffeine. Well, it does improve productivity. But really. Yeah. And together with the dubious success of the power cycle, I really am beginning to question your commitment to the project. But you can still redeem yourself. The Hippocratic Oath. A solemn vow to do no harm. Well, roughly, that's what it means. I know what it means. To get into interpreting dusty Latin textbooks. But that core sentiment of the medical community runs counter to what we're trying to accomplish here. Tough luck. Doctors shouldn't put their patients' welfare first. Excuse Instead, me? Their sole focus should be the collective good. You understand, of course. The Hippocratic Oath is there for a reason. It's the right thing to do. Spare me conventional platitudes. We have history to make. So, enter the Voltec Phoropter, a specialized piece of optometrist equipment that, yes, can improve a patient's eyesight. Let's try it on you, then. Potentially so much more. The prototype requires a bit, well, a lot. All right, a staggering quantity of radioactive material. But... The results will be worth it. Where am I going to get that much nuclear material? You're in luck. We chose this site for Vault 88. All right, pulled it off. Because our surveys indicate that there's a rich source of uranium deeper inside the caves. Yeah, so I got it. Dig deep and get what we need. What? Oh, 
Oh, you lot are taking a biscuit. Team One Morris, don't ask, is very proud of Dr. Braun and a small MRI. When fed power and imaging can produce visual information in response to cellular image terms, it can read the test subject's mind. Well, that's the promise at least. But the images are very grainy and distinct, and starting from Tests where hundreds of volunteers or computers could reliably identify these images 71%. It's still early days, but the promise of getting involuntary glimpses into the population's mind to be a game changer for the fault management. Oh dear lord. Or we could just fix his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess if we see him as a game. It was Ted. Yeah, it was Ted. His team made a better tool of Optimus everywhere. That's it, nothing else. Please, please process my request to reassign his whole team somewhere far away in cold. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Notes from Braun. I find a way to tell you. I expect great things from the team. Yep. He's gonna hit me and I don't care. <laughs> I'm enjoying messing with her stuff. Right. Excuse me. Looks like we have our first patient. Yes. Before we begin, Clara, how do you feel about children? Uh, Wonderful, but I couldn't need a whole one. Creeping me out. All done. It says you got a uh, uh, minor eye infection. Some eye drops cleared. Uh, thanks. And that's it. Nothing else. No, lady overseer. Exams all done. <laughs> Don't you hit me? Hey there. I never had an eye exam before. It wasn't so bad, I guess. Why are you doing this stuff, anyhow? These experimental devices could make life better for everyone. Huh. No shit. I figured coming down here was too good to be true. But I might have misjudged you. Might tell my friends it's a good thing down here. Thanks. I guess. So one of our residents is happy. Yeah. It's completely irrelevant. We should be making hard choices to improve the effectiveness of the vault. There's nothing wrong with the vault. Instead, you spend your time pandering to their every whim. No, 
Uh, I spend my time making your life.